Okay, the planar tracker is a powerful tool for motion tracking in DaVinci Resolve, we have used it in previous videos for different scenarios, the stabilize mode can be used to stabilize a clip and remove unwanted vibrations. We used the steady mode to replace a building sign and corner pin mode to remove the building sign entirely. Today we'll demo the use of its track mode to erase an object in the video. First add the planar tracker and track the object. Once the tracking is complete, click the Create Planar Transform button, a new node called Planar Transform is created. We will use that node later. Hold the Shift key and drag the Planar Tracker off the connection, it's no longer required as we have generated a transform node with all the tracking data. There are different ways of erasing an object, this time we will use a freeze frame to create a clean plate for better results. Add a time stretcher node to the editor, branch out the media in, by default the time stretcher uses frame 0 as the source frame, in this case I will leave it to 0. Add a paint node after the stretcher. Set the paint mode to copy polyline, cover the object with the empty area nearby, adjust the values of source X and Y, and the softness to get a natural looking image. Once we have a clean image with the object removed, we will merge it to the original image. Add a matte control node after the paint node, connect a polygon mask to the garbage matte input of the matte control. Merge the matte control to media in node as the foreground input. Select the matte control and check the invert option of the garbage matte. Draw a polygon shape to isolate the clean area. We now have the clean area merged to the original image, but it's not matching the move as we play the clip. Next thing to do is adding the tracking data to the process flow so that the isolated area will match the move and follow the motion of the plane we just tracked. Hold the shift key and drag the planar transform node to the connection between matte control and merge one, release the button once the connection line is highlighted. Now we play the clip, the object is removed from the video. That's all for today, thanks for watching and see you next time.